Hey guys, this is SG Lira giving you a commentary on StarCraft 2. Um, today this game is going to be against the yellow player Darth Caesar and the teal Protoss player Ender. And it's going to be a PvP on Lost Temple. And these are two of my friends that uh, I met off of Team Arena. And uh, me and them were playing a bunch of games uh, this weekend. And uh, Ender's talking about his mass APM owning Darth Caesar's, which is uh, 170, and Ender's is like 20. So, pretty funny guy right there. I want to talk a bit about the quality of these videos. Uh, sadly, I can't record in full size on Fraps. I tried it just earlier, and um, sadly, the frame rate is just too low, too many spikes, and when you look at the video, it's not pretty. So um, I'm going to have to keep it at this quality, guys. I'll try to improve it in the future. And uh, I think I know how. I just need to, uh, I just need to get it, and I could probably, could probably greatly increase the quality. So um, right now, both of them are just getting, uh, just getting the standard stuff. Probably a uh, 12 gate, get a gas, get a pylon. Nothing fishy, no cannon rushes, no cheese, no uh, 2 gate. Z lot rushes and stuff, so uh, it's uh, it's higher level players. Um, these guys are in diamond, and uh, I'm only platinum, so these guys kind of beat me half the time. But uh, I can still put up my dukes. I can still fight them. I haven't really been playing too much StarCraft too, so uh, I've been uh, I've been pretty rusty. And uh, yeah, getting his gas probably any second. Yes, didn't want to look like a fool. And uh, oh, and Darth Caesar is going for a two gate. Um, so yeah, I guess he's not going standard. He's going to be putting on some early Z lot pressure. Hopefully, catching uh, Ender off guard. And uh, Ender is wondering how did your probe kill mine? I guess it ran through there or something like that. Even though there's like no vision, I don't know what happened. I think his probe just got a, a free kill at the tower. Oh, doesn't even have a kill. Anyway, so he's bumping out some zealots. Uh, he's also trying to get his gas in his uh, cybernetics core, so it's not all in. It's just some early zealots, really. It's nothing. Uh, it's nothing ridiculous because um, his cybernetics core is halfway finished, so he should have a stalker out in around 30 or so seconds. And um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, I'm kind of kind of tired because I just did I just did this cast and I found out that I couldn't keep it because I thought I had the quality finally all good, but then uh, I had to delete it because in the video it wasn't working. Oh, so uh, Darth Caesar sending his zealot and he didn't even get uh, the shields down on this zealot, so they got some free hits on that. That's uh, not the biggest deal right now. So um. Darth Caesar's reinforcing with another two, and uh, oh, and he gets a stalker out. So this is what's going to force Darth Caesar back. He knows that he's not going to get by the stalker without uh, losing zealots. So he he does the smart thing. He plays conservatively and he just grabs his zealots and runs back. He goes for uh, another gateway and hopefully put on some pressure in a little bit. Uh, Ender could have actually. Um, could have actually forced him back all the way to the tower and then use the tower to his advantage because uh, it'd be nice to see what's coming. Maybe if he's going to keep uh, pushing in the Z lots or if he's going to get a couple stalkers and make a game game winning push. So he's getting uh, he's getting some more stalkers. He's probably going three gate sta uh, three gate stalkers or, or just three gate in general and um, probably going to get a robotics bay or something. And uh, seeing Darth Caesar's pattern, he might go for a four gate. Uh, not a not a four gate rush, but just uh, just a four gate. Just kind of uh, weird in my opinion. But. So Ender tries to take on this army. He decides I'm not going to run back, and uh, he's trying to micro his zealots back and forth. But he's letting his uh, his tech units get hit because of it, and he loses his sentry, which is a big deal. Uh, those sentries cost a lot of hundred gas early on in the game is uh, a lot of money and um, 
Darth Caesar has a fair army. His army size is uh, much larger, so he's probably going to try and take this advantage and get an expansion. Um, I think this is a little hasty because um, most people, when they get an expansion, they preemptively get gateways and tech, and uh, it can lead to them losing the game. And he's getting his robotics, as I said earlier, so he could go for immortals that would counter the stalkers, and uh, just in general make his army that much stronger. He needs those tech units right now because that's what he's banking on is his tech. His sentries are what's keeping uh, Darth Caesar off of his ramp. Because uh, right now Darth Caesar, if he tries to run through here, he can just force field. Uh, what he could actually do is try and make it look like he's going up the ramp and then uh, he could try and uh, waste a force field so his sentry wouldn't have the energy later on to uh, to do much. but. Um, uh, he's gonna get a little bold ender. He's gonna see, hey, I'm, uh, I'm gonna push out, and uh, I don't think this is completely wise. Ah, but he is getting a bunch more units. So, and yeah, as I told you, he preemptively he just got two gateways, a stargate, and a nexus. So that is a lot. That's gonna hurt your army. He's starting to lose his army size actually, and. Uh, and they're microing his army and macroing at the same time. Very good. So his army is uh, getting much larger. I think Darth Caesar, when he expanded, should have uh, should have just ran back to his base. So he's getting a forge too. So I don't think that's helping. He should probably try be trying to uh, warp in as many units as he can because it looks like Ender's uh, gonna go in for a game-winning kill right here. And uh, what Darth Caesar should get as a century or two to hopefully uh, help protect his expansion because Ender can just, he's just going in there, he's like, hey you're not getting away with this expansion, so he's, he's running and he's trying to keep his stalkers alive and uh, that's what's gonna make the difference. The Zealots are just there to tank, so he, he makes a beautiful force field on his ramp, trapping ha more than half of his army on the bottom and uh, forcing his probes to attack to hopefully make a different outcome in this battle. I don't think it's going to make the biggest difference. As uh, Ender's just reinforcing and warping in more units, he's not growing up. Darth Caesar's desperately trying to hold him back, but he is an immortal, and these stalkers are obsolete. This one immortal could actually just take down uh, Darth Caesar right now. Well, maybe not the Z-Lot, but he could easily take down all these stalkers. And he's shooting up the cliff because he got an Observer, and this is why Tech is really good, because he has an, an Immortal destroying through those stalkers, t tanking damage, and he has an Observer looking on the cliff. He's He has no advantage being on the cliff right now. It's like if they were on a plain open field. It's not gonna, it's not gonna give him an advantage, so... I think this is what... Uh, I think this is uh, what caused him to lose. He preemptively got too many production and tech, and uh, he expanded all at the same time. He got a, an expansion tech and production facilities all at the same time, and this caused his army to drop significantly. <laughs> and he has a Void Ray on the way, trying to kill the Immortal, but um, I don't think it, that's going to save him right now. And I'm expecting a GG any moment from uh, Darth Caesar. And, uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope I can increase the quality in the future for my games, guys. I, uh, I need a, I need, I need a new, uh, operating system, because my processor is 64-bit, uh, compatible, or capable, and, uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that, I'll be able to improve the quality, improve the frames, so, um, yeah, he's even sending in a probe right now. And uh, he built a pylon right there to reinforce, so he's definitely out of this, he is done, and uh, he leaves. So, I guess I'll see you guys, and uh, peace.